Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer for Wednesday the 22nd of September 2021. In order to follow morning prayer with us, you'll need to have a Bible of your own in order that you can read it and allow God to speak to you through the pages of scripture while you're taking your leisure to read it. And so you'll need some way of shutting it up, uh, a pause machine, uh, a, a remote for the video uh, or whatever so that you can listen to God rather than to me. Our service begins by inviting God into the deepest places of our hearts and onto our lips by his Holy Spirit. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Our service today has a real focus on buildings uh, in the sense of the temple of the Old Testament. But of course, the scripture moves on to say that we are temples of the Holy Spirit. And our first hymn uh, from the Sing Praise hymn book chosen for us by Stephen uh, is a, a hymn which kind of starts with the fragile nature of our human uh, selves. Earth's fragile beauties we possess, and in the second verse, Earth's uh, human nature uh, we possess, and then in the third, uh, the divine nature we possess too. We are pilgrims on a road. Uh, I didn't really like uh, the way that these words would have fitted with the tune, so I hope you excuse me for using a different tune from the one set in the book. As fragile beauties we possess as pilgrim gifts from God and walk the slow and dangerous way his wounded feet have trod though faith by tragedy is rocked and love by pain is scored we sing the pilgrim song of hope your kingdom come O Lord as human longings we possess by grief or love compelled to take and bear the heavy cross Christ's wounded hands have held by cloud and fire he leads us on through famine plague and sword singing with faith the pilgrim song your kingdom come O lord god's own true image we possess in innocence first known now tainted by the hate and spite to Christ's own body shown by that same wounded heart of love God's image is restored to sing again the pilgrim song your kingdom come The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for this morning is Psalm 119, uh, verses 57 to 80. Uh, that's the three stanzas. Uh, please pause the video and read that uh, in your own Bible and meditate on it. The Old Testament reading for today is 2 Chronicles chapter 5. Uh, it's the bringing of the Ark of the Covenant into the newly built house of the Lord in Jerusalem. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible.
At the end of that Bible reading, uh, the cloud of the Lord's presence descends on the temple uh, and uh, excludes all others. Uh, how can eyes describe what could be seen by that scene? Uh, it's obviously reminiscent uh, of what happened at the end of the book of Exodus, and here's a hymn relating to that same incident. How can words describe the scene upon the tent of meeting, when the cloud within a gleam had settled on its sheeting, and glory filled the holy place where God would show to And in the New Testament reading, uh, we uh, look at the ending of the temple. Uh, the reading is Mark chapter 13, verses 1 to 13, where Jesus begins to speak of end times. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. Uh, here's a hymn uh, which relates to what Jesus is saying. We have magnificent buildings, but let's remember uh, that our God does not lie in them, but rather uh, in the garrisoning that he gives to the human heart. Buildings rise so impressive, standing stately and tall. Yet we know that aggressive conflicts will make them fall. When this happens, may we be strong, firm in our faith to the end, certain of Christ who will overcome, trusting in him to defend. Wars and rumours will reach us, spreading Certain of Christ. 
Christ who will overcome, trusting in him to defend. Nations rise against nations, kingdoms rise in dissent. Wild unjust accusations strike us with foul intent. When this happens, may we be strong, firm in our faith to the end. Certain of Christ who will overcome, trusting in him to defend. On that day we're arrested, make us calm and be stoked. When we're questioned and tested, help us to speak your word. When this happens, may we be strong, firm in our faith to the end. Certain of Christ who will overcome, trusting in him to defend. Men betrayed by their brothers, saints betrayed by their friends. Loyal fathers and mothers cast into jail till the end. When this happens, may we be strong, firm in our faith to the end. Certain of Christ who will overcome, trusting in him to defend. And so, please join me in praying that we would be faithful vessels of the Lord's presence in ourselves. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for buildings which remind us of you, buildings which speak of your magnificence and your greatness, buildings which fill us with a sense of awe and wonder. But we remind ourselves that they are but buildings. Help us to grasp the vision of you, the true source of all beauty and inspiration. Help us to have a vision of you at the core of our being, that we may be held by it uh, and drawn to you constantly. Help us to pass on this vision to others, that they too may come to know the surpassing worth of you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, Father, uh, as we are fragile vessels of your presence, we pray that you would help us to maintain the fire which you have given to us. And to do that, we ask that we would have the true reverence of your word, which was spoken of in the psalm, in order that we might be sustained by you all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and put before God the things on your own heart at the moment. The Collect, the special prayer for this week, the 16th after Trinity. O Lord, hear our prayers. Grant us to know what we should be doing, and give us your grace and power to do it faithfully and to your glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may we rely on the Holy Spirit for his inspiration as we consider our words today. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.